hello YouTube welcome back to my channel this is God's my love and like promised I am doing a what's in my nursing bag video um I love what's in my bag videos because I think everybody got a little bit of nosiness in them they like to see what's in other people's bags and I just think they're fun um, so I'm gonna go through what's in my nursing bag starting from the front I'll put a link down below where I got this nursing bag. I got it about a year ago, a year or a year and a half ago. And it's called um, Nurse Scape. Ooh, it's kind of heavy holding it like this. Nurse Scape. And I'm going to get started. So it has three pockets in the front. Three pockets in the front. One, two, three. One pocket on each side. And three more pockets in the back. And it also has two pockets on the inside in the back and three pockets on the inside in the front. And I'll show you that when we get to it. So let's start from the obvious part, which is the very front. So this very front pocket right here, I have my wallet, which I don't have any of my stuff in here because I already swapped out my wallets for when I'm off. This is the wallet that I use when I'm at work because I can easily put it in my pocket. I don't have to worry about grabbing it if I'm going to go to the cafeteria or whatever. It's already in my pocket. I can just go. So that's in this pocket. And then these are my scissors. I don't care what kind of nurse you are, you are going to eventually need scissors. Whether you're labor and delivery like me, geriatric, or especially medical surgical, you're definitely gonna need some scissors. Whatever kind of nurse, these always come in handy for tape, paper, cutting things off patients for sure, you're gonna need this. And this middle pocket, I have pins and oh, yeah, one of my Tootsie Rolls that I need to eat. Um, I'm not even gonna tell you how old this is, okay? We're just gonna leave it at, it's still edible. There we go. We'll put that back in that pocket. Lip balms, the Chapstick Moisture one. It's, this is actually pretty moisturizing and Chapstick usually does nothing for my lips. And the Burt's Bees lip balm. I usually keep two or three pins in my pocket. I have to keep my most favorite pin, which is this one. This uh, Pentel Energel pin. I love this. Nurses, let me know. And anybody, not just nurses, this pen is for anybody. But I just love this pen as a nurse because you can write with it and it won't smudge. A Sharpie, um, I love the Sharpie that got the dual ends to them. I like it because this little fine tip is good for writing your initials and your date and time for placing IVs and whatever. And I love this side for like basically anything. Highlighters dry erase markers these are very handy for um, if you just don't have one in the room I usually just keep one in my pocket because it's been plenty of times where I went into a room and there wasn't one in there and I don't have time to go back and forth they just waste so much time so I just like to keep one in my pocket I just got my stethoscope out of this pocket so I'm gonna go to the back of this bag there's nothing in this pocket it's completely empty and this pocket is just one scrunchie. And this pocket I have my eyeglass wipes. I wear glasses at work because I just like my eyeballs to breathe. This is my lotion by Bath & Body Works, of course. Good vibes only. This is the vanilla coconut fragrance. Some braiding cards because someone asked me who did my hair some months ago. I had my hair in a braided hairstyle. These are some like um, information cards on things that we do for different protocols. So let's go to the inside of the bag. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff. So it's a pocket right here. And I'm just gonna pull this out. And what I have is extra lip balms and headphones my wireless headphones 
I don't have anything expensive because my ears are super tiny and nothing stays in my ear. I always use the smallest earbuds and they never stay in my ear. So I'm not gonna spend a fortune on some earbuds that's not gonna stay in. I'd rather spend $15. Um, some extra lip balm, extra ID reels. One of my friends got me this at work. You know who you are, girl. She's one of my biggest supporters. And let me cover this up. This has this badge reel has the hospital on it that I work at. Well, let me show you this cute little baby. I got this from Etsy. Someone on Etsy makes these, and um, it comes in different skin tones. And if you want it to be a boy, um, they have them without the bow. Isn't this so cute? So that's what's all in that bag that I have in the front. I like to have extras. Got this bag from Dollar Tree, by the way. So cute. And then next, what's in there is my ID badge. The badge reel that I have, I'm currently using. I got this off Etsy as well. It's so cute. It was, uh, I think it was $8. I can put this in the link in the description box. It's got the stork, the baby foot, the diaper pin, and the little baby rattle. It's so cute. So that's what I use for my badge. This next pocket, this is just planner stuff. If I have time at work, which is very rare, <laughs> I will like write in my planner. And the next pocket right by it is ooh, a pencil pouch of extras, like extra Sharpies, extra pens, extra highlighters, dry erase markers so that I don't run out. I like to be prepared. The more prepared you are, the less stressed you are. This right here is my bag of goodies. I have in the front all my medications. If you're somewhere for eight hours or more, you gotta need to make sure that you're gonna be taken care of in all ways possible. Um, there's been plenty of times that I've been at work with a headache and times that I've had um, heartburn. So I got this Alka-Seltzer for heartburn, upset stomach, um, indigestion, whatever, stomach problems. I got um, my leave and iron pills in here. I got, oh, wax, I'm done with braces. Um, throw that out. I actually do wanna get Invisalign though because my top tooth isn't as straight as I would like it to be though but they said they didn't want to put too much pressure on it because of the bone loss that I had anyway I have mints airborne you got you get some sick patients that come in there I got a mirror why I don't know I don't ever use it I guess I had this for when I had my braces um, toothpaste and toothbrush for when I had my braces Um, and that's it in the front pocket and there's a middle pocket but there's nothing in there it's completely empty and then the pocket right behind it is all personal girly items you know pads tampons panty liners feminine wipes all of that and right in the middle like down in here I have one of my perfumes that I'm trying to use up is Ari by Ariana Grande. I always get so many compliments on this perfume. It's light and it's a nice, clean, fresh smell. It does not bother my patients at all. The next thing is this right here. This is a sandwich box, but I use it for snacks. Let me tell you something. You need to have snacks on deck as a nurse because there's gonna be times where you're not gonna get a chance to eat. I've gone a whole shift without eating before. Does that make it right? No, but do you wanna be prepared for if you don't get a chance to eat? Yes. So I have, I usually have cookies and chips and stuff in here. Um, I'm gonna get more, I'm gonna get healthier things in here like the Laura bars. I love Laura bars. And um, I'm trying to look some, or some other healthy things that are non-perishable that I can just keep in here for a long time as a, you know, emergency stash. 
so that's what that is i got like old receipts i got my planner in there um it's a happy planner now i like more of a um app planner that i can use on my phone it used to be this app planner that i used like three or four years ago, but they discontinued it. Let me know if you guys know of any app planners. The next thing is this file folder, and I just keep my report sheets in here, and like report sheets to get report off of patients, and to give report on patients, and things like that. Now this right here, this is an ultrasound check off folder which I never got to complete because right around the time I started doing this, I got the OR and PACU position, which is what I have wanted because um, they, they used to not have the OR PACU position for night shift. It used to only be for day shift. And when I got this position, I was like, yes. And, but you know, this doesn't give me the opportunity to really do ultrasounds, but I know I'll be certified in it in God's timing, so I'm not gonna worry about it. This right here is just like documentations that I've turned in um, for work. I don't know why I have two of them. I need to like clean this out a little more. Now I'm gonna go into these back pockets here. There's two back pockets, like I said. Let's go into this one right here. So these are just my planner stickers. Next, in this pocket over here, this is my phone emergency stash bag. I have my cable, a um, power bank, and I have an adapter. I just like to keep things organized and in their own little pouches. Easier to find that way for me. Then this next bag right in front of my phone bag is a like hair accessories bag for like just emergencies if I need to put my hair up real quick or um, I would probably put a scrub cap in here. And the last two things in here is this pocket organizer that I never use and then this abs. I'll put these on papers like to remind me that something is due. That is all that is in my bag. I would put my lunch bag in here when it's time for me to go. I would just stuff it right in the bag like right on top of right here and be on my way. All right, you guys, so that's the end of the What's in My Nursing Bag video. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, let me know in the comment section things that you would like to see that's nursing related or anything else related because like I said, I do things on hair, beauty, and all kind of things that I'm planning on making videos of. My future nursing videos, though, I'm gonna be doing a video about what's it like being a nurse and what's it like working on night shift as a nurse. Um, I'm typically a night owl, so it doesn't really bother me. And how to balance your life on your off days when you wanna do things throughout the day instead of throughout the night because your body's so used to being up at night. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for all of your support and continue to support my channel and continue to help me grow my channel. Thank you guys. I'll see you in the next video.